It is Indiana in the Morning presented by First Commonwealth Bank on the Voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160 and 101.1 FM. Our interviews are presented by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. A lot of things going on in Indiana County, and who better to talk with them about it than the three Indiana County commissioners. So joining me right now here on Indiana in the Morning, we have our Indiana County commissioners. Hello, everyone. Good Good morning. morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Doing fine for a Tuesday. <laughs> doing fine for a Tuesday. Yes. That's that's Mike Keith, and we also have Shireen Hess with us as well. And I know that I've got a, a third voice on there, and I am so embarrassed. Robin, Robin Gorman. Gorman. Got it. Got it. Got it. It just came to me at the last possible second, Robin, and I apologize. That's all right, John. All right. Let's start with Mike. Mike, a lot of good news coming out of the county uh, earlier, uh, actually late last week, with the announcement of uh, of Wyotech's facilities going to be uh, used once, put into service once again. Talk about it from your perspective as county commissioners. I'm sure the, the, others are, are, the others are actually perfectly willing to join in as well. But let's start with that because that's been some big news. Well, actually, yes, it has, Josh. Uh, you know, you go down past that many times and you look at an empty facility there and you're like, you know, wondering again what could be put in there, how it could be utilized. And, you know, and when this came out, it was like, wow. And, and, just, and also, just right after uh, the buying of uh, Chestnut Ridge, I mean, you know, two great uh, announcements that actually came out that uh, with new owners. Uh, it's nice to know that, uh, the new owner is actually going to reopen the facility and, uh, again, offer the school uh, for students, again, to uh, further their education and careers. And second of all, the, the other exciting news is a manufacturing facility back in Indiana County. Um, you know, manufacturing is is uh, one of my favorites, and uh, it's, it's good to see that, you know, the opportunity is going to uh, bring more jobs into the county. And, as they said, there would be uh, household uh, head jobs, which is it's also good coming from that end. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was really good news. Uh, Shireen, Robin, you want to also talk about uh, a Wyotech's facilities reopening as well? Well, just as Commissioner Keith said, we're so excited that a campus that was 27 acres off of Route 22 in Borough Township, of course, is now back in operation, both as an automotive motive trade school, um, reborn under the um, New Village Initiative, LLC. So Gary Beeman is the businessman from Orlando, Florida. And uh, like Mike said, they're also incorporating a manufacturing piece into this. This is just really exciting, and particularly right now, uh, through COVID, I couldn't be better. Right, definitely. We all, I think, could use a little good news, especially during this uh, this time of coronavirus crisis. Yep. All right. Yep. It's all good news. Yep. All right. Uh, Shireen, do you want to add your comments, or do you uh, want to uh, uh, well, go ahead? The build on the, the 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 aim to create jobs and expand businesses. We have uh, the, the our one nineteen business park in Center Township also seeing some activity. Uh, with some agricultural activities happening. So uh, we'll have more information about that, some um, uh, a biodigester uh, kind of an initiative happening that's expected to create some jobs. So little by little, we're, you know, with our partners, we continue to search out those opportunities and just be ready. And I think that's one thing that government can do is just try to be ready for when these opportunities present themselves. I, I think that's been a hallmark of uh, not only this crew of county commissioners, but past crews of county commissioners, to be ready at a moment's notice to go whenever there is an opportunity for a business to come into the county. Well, what really makes it unique about Indiana County is, you know, working with uh, ICDC and and how they've actually planned it out. I mean, there's they've already have business parks that are, you know, ready to dig process. I mean, uh, by putting in that infrastructure, having it ready for a company to say, hey, we're, we're ready to come in, what do you, what, how long? And it's like, well, you can do it tomorrow. I mean, it, that's that's a great thing that uh, Byron and, the, and his crew has actually uh, worked out, you know, to be prepared. 
We're talking with Mike Keith, Shereen Hess, Robin Gorman, the Indiana County Commissioners. Robin, off mic, we were talking about one of the topics that you wanted to highlight, and one of them being another uh, Indiana County business that is celebrating its 50, it's celebrating a big anniversary this year, Visiting Nurse Association. It certainly is, and um, 50 years, this month actually, and I just want to send out a shout out from all three of us um, as their county commissioners, and those people, and all of them, prior to who's there now, all 50 years before them, have brought compassion, comfort, hope, you name it, to thousands of families over five decades. Um, and I just want to thank them. Their services are fundamental to people and, in my opinion, irreplaceable. So I just want to give them a happy 50 years and thank you for all of the great work in our community. Another topic that we wanted to touch on, a little bit more serious and a little bit more somber topic, uh, we were talking about uh, bullying going on earlier in, in our hour. Now we're going to switch gears to Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Uh, Robin, I think you also wanted to talk about that. Yeah, and Josh, I was able to listen to your bullying. In fact, I was talking to the two commissioners just prior to you jumping on. It's just, wow, it's, um, we learn a lot, don't we, through all of this, good and bad. Um, but you are correct, Josh. Indiana County joins with others across the Commonwealth and, of course, the nation in supporting our victims of domestic violence. Um, so we just want to make sure um, the great work of our Alice Paul House, who is also uh, going to have a ribbon cutting soon on their new facility. I drive by there periodically, and it's looking really great. And our domestic relations office and the team over there and their hard work, um, again, all year long, this is not easy stuff, and we want to send uh, a clear message in Indiana County to abusers that domestic violence is just not tolerated here. Right, and it is good news that Alice Paul House is getting close to that ribbon cutting. I was there for their groundbreaking, I think it was about one or two years ago, I think, and they are, they've are they been moving pretty quickly with the, with yeah. the new facilities. I'll let yeah. one of my other two colleagues talk. Go ahead. Yeah, that, that they have, and, and along with that, the facility itself, uh, state-of-the-art, and, you know, again, much more room, much more privacy for those individuals that uh, – are needing to uh, use that facility. Um, again, the, the director and the uh, faculty over there, um, again, like Robin said, uh, there were 365, seven days a week, 24. You know, it's, it's something that it's sad that we have to use it, but Indiana County, actually, we give them an opportunity to, it's there for them if needed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shereen? Yes, and the, the county, yes, the county has a domestic violence sexual assault task force, too, that works closely with our, our um, Alice Paul House, just to say that there are many, many organizations and agencies involved from the courts down to the human services areas and to the, you know, the, the facilities that, that work with children uh, and, you know, to help people. They, they have the wraparound services, too. It's not just the shelter uh, that's provided. It's all of the services that people need to move from that situation into the, you know, their next steps and, and beyond. So it's, we're very fortunate here in Indiana County to have that support system in place. All right, Shireen, let's stay with you for a little bit. I'm sure that there's something that you've found over the past uh, couple of weeks that has been uh, uh, of note from your point of view. I think uh, you were talking. I think you were talking a little bit about some of the agricultural uh, things going on here in Indiana County, and maybe you can highlight those if you ha- if there is something new on that topic. <laughs> We just have a little bit of information about a biodigester project in Center Township, and it um, and it will have to do with um, producing, uh, taking the um, the manure, the the product that uh, results from a lot of dairy farming, mm-hmm. and um, turning it into methane, and and working with our partners um, to to uh, create a an, a product out of that. So basically, that can use be used for energy for homes and businesses and so on. So those details are being um, worked on. And it's a you know, it's an outfit out of actually Italy, mm-hmm. and um, the you know the people are excited because they have family roots here in the in the area. So just a nice uh, convergence of again of opportunities, and we happen to be ready. And I I think um, you know our planning office, our our economic development partners are, as I was saying, just constantly ready to to serve as a convener as a 
as a resource um, coordinator. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of moving parts to expanding or building a business. So, uh, yeah, we should thank our state legislative team. You know, the governor's mm-hmm. action team always gets involved with these um, initiatives. So, as we all know, every job is important, and yeah. So we're, you know, we're, and you know, and we know what's happening with with some of the other facilities with IUP and some, you know, who knows what's going to to come down the pike. But we do want to try to be where we can to um, to backfill job losses, um, and it, you know, it's a, it's going to be a tough tough year coming up, and we we're just going to try to be where we can. One of the things you mentioned that, and it brought to my mind the budget. Budget's coming up, and I imagine that uh, a lot of the offices in the Indiana County uh, row house row offices are getting their budgets in line for the year. And I am assuming that you guys are getting ready to go through those budgets. Well, I can actually uh, uh, state to that we have actually we moved our budget process up uh, a month earlier than normal, mm-hmm. and that reason is is because we knew we were going to have a tough budget to get through this year. So we've already gone through uh, one round of budget and going over with the entire county, uh, getting ready to make a, the next process as far as going down. But uh, uh, we did reach out in April uh, as a commissioner's board and ask for uh, cuts in the departments throughout the county. So uh, they have uh, come through and made those cuts for us. And, uh, again, now we're looking going forward uh and with COVID, we also lost revenue due to COVID this year, so that was another factor that uh, we have to play with. But um, we will be coming out shortly with uh, with the uh, uh, announcement of how we're going to be uh, working the, uh, next year's budget. Mm-hmm. So that draft budget is going to be coming pretty soon then, and from what it sounds like, all intents and purposes, it will be passed in time for the next year then. It will, uh, we, it will be passed uh, in time for next year. That's great news to hear. But I'm, glad, again, glad to hear that uh, things that, that you guys are taking the initiative and getting things going on that as, as quickly as you can. We're just about out of time. Anybody else with a topic that they would like to discuss in our final minute? I just want to shout out to all of our residents out there. Make sure they get out and cast their ballot. Every vote matters, mm-hmm. and it's your right. So please get out and vote. That's right, and I know that polling places have changed. I know that the uh, elections office has already notified people who have been affected by that. Will there be a list of polling places on the website as well? Yes. In fact, they're currently there now, Josh, and um, they'll be updated as changes are made, and I believe they are, uh, they are intact right now. <laughs> All right, excellent. And the website for the county, once again, is indianacountypa.gov, right? That's correct. Excellent. Correct. All right, Mike, Shireen, Robin, thank you very much for joining us once again on Indiana in the Morning. All the best to you, and I'll I'll talk to you next week at the County Commissioner's Meeting. Thank you much. Thanks again to thanks again to Michael Keith, Shireen Hess, Robin Gorman, Indiana County's Commissioners joining us here on Indiana in the Morning presented by First Commonwealth Bank. First Commonwealth Bank. First Commonwealth Bank.